As the dates of NEET 2022 is getting right around the corner, the feeling of anticipation is getting more and more chaotic. However, apart from a good result, there is one factor that contributes majorly towards scoring a seat in a nice medical college, and that is properly knowing and following the NEET counseling process. Today, we are going to cover the Uttar Pradesh NEET counseling process, which is organized by the Directorate of Medical Education and Training, in short, DMAN. Kindly note that the authority conducts the UP MBBS counseling based on scores obtained in NEET 2022. DMAT Uttar Pradesh Lucknow will conduct two rounds of counseling along with a mop up round to facilitate admission to medical and dental colleges of UP. There are approximately 6,000 medical seats and 2,251 dental seats available in all private and government colleges of Uttar Pradesh. Now let's start with the eligibility criteria. Candidates proceeding with the NEET 2021 UP registration process must fulfill these three demands. First, candidate must have appeared for need. Second, candidate must be a domicile of Uttar Pradesh. Third, candidate must have cleared their high school and intermediate exam from Uttar Pradesh. Let's stumble upon the counseling process, which is five very crucial parameters that every candidate must have to fulfill, and that is registration, document verification, choice filling and locking, seat allotment, reporting at the institute. First, First up, we got the registration process. Upon successfully registering and obtaining the login credentials, candidate belonging to the general SC, ST categories must make a payment of Rs 2000 as an application fee towards NEET MBBS counseling Uttar Pradesh. The fee should be paid in online mode through credit, debit or net banking. Now let's have a look at what important documents are needed at the reporting center for verification. First, we have NEET admit card, rank card, 10th mark sheet and passing certificate, 12th mark sheet and passing certificate, category certificate, domicile certificate, character certificate, migration certificate, passport size photographs, printout of registration form and allotment letter. Now let us understand the meaning of choice filling and locking. Once you are successfully done with the document verification, it is time for choice filling. Based on the NEET roll number and application number provided at the time of registration, DMAT will release the NEET MBB UP rank list comprising the names of eligible candidates for the counseling procedure. Eligible candidates must log into their candidate portal at upneed.gov.in. Upon successful login, candidates will be able to choose their preferred colleges from the list displayed on the screen. Candidate must make sure they fill the choices as per their priority as there is no limit. Followed by choice filling, candidates will log their choices before the end date of UP Need MBB counseling. While locking the choices, candidates must be careful as DMAT will not entertain any changes at later stages. Based on choice filled by the candidates, DMAT releases the NEET MBBS Counseling Uttar Pradesh seat allotment result is made available online on the official website to download. At the time of institute reporting, candidate must also submit a bank draft of the security fee favoring Director General Medical Education and Training UP payable at Lucknow. Only CTS bank draft will be accepted. This security fee will be refunded to the candidate after completing the NEET MBBS Counseling at Uttar Pradesh but if the candidate is unable to attend the counseling procedure the amount paid as a security deposit can be claimed by the DMAT. That is not all here is a bonus tip for all of you about the Uttar Pradesh NEET MBBS counseling reservation criteria. All the 85% state quota seats of Uttar Pradesh will be allotted based on the reservation criteria and it is tabulated as scheduled cast with 21% scheduled tribe with 2% OBC with 27% economically weaker section with 10%, son and daughter of ex-servicemen with 2%, PH candidates with 5%, female candidates with 20%, NCC certificate holders with 1%, Ward of Freedom Fighters with 2%.